Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving from Poros to Clarendon Park. We are driving on the old road or the main road. This is not the highway. This is the road that you used to travel on before the highway opened. So we're going to give you a tour as to what's going on. Now, the section of the highway that would take you from Poros to Clarendon Park is free. So a lot of traffic has gone on to the highway so we're just taking a look to see what's going on actually from Maypen to Mandeville on the highway is free and there is only one exit between Maypen and Mandeville which is toll gates actually you have an exit uh, interchange at Maypen the Maypen interchange and then you have another one at toll gate and then the highway ends at the Melrose Hill Bypass. So, unless you're coming off on one of those three spots, you have to stay on the highway. So all these areas now are seeing an economic fallout because the traffic is no longer on the main road. The traffic is on the highway. So everybody's just waiting and watching to see what will happen next year when they start to charge toll. Now the toll is expensive, a lot of traffic will return here. If the toll is cheap, then I'm not sure what's going to happen with these areas. Now look at this car in front of us. Now I'm wondering, is this legal? I don't see any strap pulling down the let me look at it. I don't see anything holding down those things in the back of that car. Let me put on my glasses. Mm, people do some things, it's unbelievable. Okay, they have a strap to the side because they have used, they have used like a bonnet to hold the stuff up at the side and then they have a strap over it. Honestly, this, this, this could never be legal. I'm sure in other countries you couldn't even think of doing something like this. And I'm sure if the police see them, they're going to pull them over. I'm almost sure of it. Guys, what do you think? Could this work in, in other countries? Not, I don't think this could even work in Jamaica. I'm sure this person would get a ticket if they... If the police see them. It's definitely car parts. I don't know. Is the scrap metal industry in Jamaica still open? I don't know. Alright, so we're now going through the section where you have a lot of food vendors. Alright, we're either gonna have to pass this car or let him go far ahead. Most of the cars that are using this road are taxi operators. Uh, let him just go. Ahead. So you can see the bar empty. Not one car over there. This stall. Not one car over there. And these are the stalls that people just traveling through would stop. I know I used to stop here and buy tangerine and oranges all the time the bars are empty every shop has no car in front of it okay there's one car down here but the rest of store stalls are empty there's one car over there but as i said look at the cars that are passing most of them are have red plates which are taxis or green plates which mean they are commercial vehicles so they're probably doing some work in the area the white plates are the passenger cars very few of those
All right, so these are some of the fruit vendors. There's a bar, not one car over there. Over here on the left is another one, not one car. Same thing over on the right. Alright, some, some trucks have stopped out here. Alright, so we're going to give you an update on what's going on out here again, probably in another 30 days. And definitely going to come back in January when the toll opens up so that we can see what's going on. Alright, so this is now the Scotts Pass area. Alright guys, leave your comments in the section below. Let us know what you think. Have a good day. Thank you.